Throughout the past week, Americans anxiously watch weather conditions in the Gulf Coast region. The people of Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas were well prepared for Hurricane Gustav, and the coordination between these states and the federal government was strong. While these relief efforts have been in progress, we've also been preparing for the arrival of storms like Hannah Ike and others that may follow. My administration will continue to provide assistance to those affected by violent weather throughout the hurricane season. While the federal government continues its vital work, there are also important responsibilities awaiting members of Congress as they return to Washington. So in June, I called on Congress to open up more of America's domestic oil resources for exploration, including offshore exploration of the outer continental shelf. The American people overwhelmingly support this proposal, but throughout the summer, the leaders of the Democratic Congress refused to allow it to come to a vote. This Congress has earned a reputation as one of the least productive in history. Throughout this year, Democratic leaders have ignored the public's demand for relief from high energy prices. This is their final chance to take action before the November elections. If members of Congress do not support the American people at the gas pump, then they should not expect the American people to support them at the ballot box. Thank you for listening.